do what I do because I've seen a great deal of inequality and injustice uh, in my life. I'm a product of Brown versus Board of Education. I grew up in a community where black children couldn't go to public schools. I started my education in a colored school. There were no high schools for black kids. In our county, when my dad was a teenager, and even though he was smart and hardworking, he didn't have the opportunities that a lot of people take for granted. But lawyers came into our community and made them open up the public schools by enforcing the rule of law. And I was impressed by that power. Uh, if you had a vote to end racial segregation in our county, uh, we wouldn't have won that vote because the county was majority white. And so I got to go to high school and college and law school, and I've wanted to use that same power, that same enforcement of rights and commitment to the rule of law to help other disfavored, marginalized, and excluded people. And at this time in American history, I can't think of a community more at risk, more vulnerable, more disfavored than people in jails and prisons. We have one of the highest rates of incarceration in the world. We've done some terrible things in this country. To the poor, we have a criminal justice system that treats you better if you're rich and guilty than if you're poor and innocent. So I want to respond to that in the way that lawyers and advocates and people who cared about justice responded uh, to the conditions that would have blocked me from ever having the chance to go to high school and college. And it's at the heart of why I do uh, what I do.